let us study about light in this particular chapter. In fact, light is nothing but the electromagnetic waves which produces sensation in our eyes and due to which we can see different things. Lights do not require any medium for their propagation and that means they are non-mechanical waves. Unlike sound, light do not require any medium. Speed of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. That is 3 lakh kilometer per second. When light travels through various media, from one transparent media to another different transparent medium, then obviously the speed of the light would be reduced when it travels from the rarer transparent medium to the denser transparent medium. Wavelength of the visible light, that is V I V G Y O R, that is violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red color. The wavelength that ranges from 4 into 10 raised to minus 7 meter to 8 into 10 raised to minus 7 meter. In terms of angstrom, we can write it down as 4000 angstrom to 8000 angstrom. The straight line of the path that is joining one point to another in the direction of propagation of the light. That is called as a light ray. Whereas the bundle of rays, they are emerging from the source of the light. Instead of calling it as a light ray, we call that as a beam of light. In fact, when light is incident on any surface which is separating two different media, a part of that light incident will be reflected whereas a part of that light would be transmitted or else it can be absorbed also. Light rays which are focused by mirrors and lens by the reflection and refraction respectively. Let us see, in this particular figure, the upper medium represents air whereas the lower medium represents water. When we draw a normal, that means at the point of junction of both the media and the normal, when a light ray is incident on it, a part of that would be reflected and a part of that would travel through the water, that means it is undergoing refraction. That is mainly because its speed is going to change, but we shall discuss about this refraction little bit later on. So, a part of the light is reflected, a part of the light would be transmitted to the other medium, whereas some part of that light might be absorbed also. When we discuss about the light, and obviously we need to discuss about images. When the number of rays starting from a point after reflection or else a refraction, they meet at a point, then that new point, the second point is called as the image of that first point. There are basically two kinds of images. Number one, that is real images and number two, that is virtual images. Now, what is the difference between real and virtual image? Real images, the rays actually meet, whereas in case of virtual images, the rays do not actually meet, but they seem that the rays are emerging. They are coming down from that particular point when we extend those rays in the backward direction. The real images can be obtained on screen, whereas the virtual images obviously cannot be obtained on the screen. Real images are inverted images. That means they are inverted images, whereas the virtual images are always the erect images. 